Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to easily embed your SoundCloud podcast directly into your WordPress website. Stay tuned. So if you use SoundCloud and if you have your own podcast, uh, this is a great way to be able to embed your podcast or even other podcasts within your WordPress website. I'm going to show you two main ways to do this today, either through the SoundCloud website or even through a really cool, easy to use plugin as well. So stay tuned. So the first way that I'll show you, I think is the easiest way is with a really cool plugin on WordPress here. So go into plugins, click on add new. And you want to search for SoundCloud. You may find a few, but I'll show you which one to uh, actually install. All right, here it is on the right. It says SoundPress plugin. This SoundCloud plugin for WordPress. Embed track, user latest tracks, or even playlists too. Has about 6,000 plus active installations and about four and a half out of five stars. So click install and activate, and you'll be good to go. Now, once this installs, you may be looking for it on the sidebar over here and you won't find anything because you don't have to do anything with any other settings at all. All you have to do is grab uh, the link from SoundCloud, whatever podcast or track you want, and then paste it into a post or a page in your website and it will embed it automatically. Watch. All right, let's go to SoundCloud here and I'll show you how everything works. Go to my profile here. So you can do this with your own playlists and tracks, or if you want to embed other people's works, you can do that too. If you do a blog and other kind of music or news, uh, you can also embed those people's podcasts if you like. All right, so we'll go to one of my tracks here. It's gonna click on share. And this is my latest podcast, episode 44 for my gaming podcast. So if I want to embed this particular podcast, all I have to do is get the link, which is right down here. Left click and then right click and copy. Now I have that copied on the clipboard. We go back to our website. Let's make a new post. So we'll click on new and post. And we'll just give this a title called podcast test. Very simple. And we'll just right click and paste. We'll control V and it automatically embeds just like that onto your WordPress. So you can actually see it there too, before you even um, publish or preview the page, you can already see the link being automatically embedded. Just like YouTube links are now embedded automatically uh, with WordPress, SoundCloud is now as well with an awesome, awesome plugin. We can preview the page and boom, here it is. So this is a preview of the very cool test page we made really quickly, podcast test. Uh, here is that particular uh, podcast track I selected. I copied the URL, pasted it into WordPress. The plugin does all the work by itself. Now we can play the track from within the website. Let's go back to SoundCloud here. Let's actually try a playlist. That was a particular track. So here's a playlist. If I wanted to share the playlist, I could share. So we'll click share. And we'll grab this playlist link here as well. Left click, then right click and copy. We'll go back to our post here on WordPress. Go back, click on text. We'll delete this old link out of here. And we'll paste our new link in there. Go back to visual. And boom, it has the entire playlist now embedded on the web page. We'll click on preview. As the new preview loads on WordPress. Again, this is our test page, this is podcast test. Now our whole playlist is embedded within the website. Pretty awesome, right? I do wanna show you, cause you can also do it another way here. I think installing that plugin on WordPress probably is the easiest way. You can also do it directly through SoundCloud, but then you'll have to do it every time through SoundCloud that you want to embed either a playlist or a track. So you can click on embed. So we're still on this playlist here for my gaming podcast. Click on embed. And you can see here, you get WordPress code right away. You can click on that. And this will give you some information on how to embed track or playlist on WordPress. 
It gives you an overview. You can change the color of the play button if you want to. You can change the height as well. You can also enable automatic play. So there's a few more options here in SoundCloud to be able to embed this on your WordPress website. But really for me, installing the plugin makes the process much more simpler. I don't really have to have it play automatically, but if you want the option, you can go right through SoundCloud itself to do that. So we can change the color of the play button by pushing maybe the pink one here, kind of matches our artwork actually. That's kind of cool. But you can choose from any color you want here with the palette. And you can click whether to show comments or no comments, uh, display names, no names, or even show the SoundCloud overlays. You can uncheck that if you want to. And that is pretty easy. And this works the same whether it's a playlist or just one single track. You can click the code here, right click and copy. Then we go into your post here, click on the text tab, make sure you're on text, then control V, and you paste that embed code there, click on visual, and there it's embedded that way. So it looks a little bit different here. But again, just a different way of being able to embed SoundCloud within WordPress for your website. And there we go. Not too bad. Back to SoundCloud here. Now with playlists, you can choose up here as well. You can choose how it visually embeds. This is kind of the main visualization option. You can also have uh, this option here where it shows your artwork and then the actual audio tracks to the right and the rest of the playlist below. So we'll embed this too, I'll show you that. Copy that code, back to the WordPress site, click on text. Swap the new code in, back to visual. You can see how it looks there, a little bit different. Click on preview, give you a preview of that. And that gives you a bit of a different look too. So whatever look you want, you can kind of customize that here. Back to SoundCloud. Let's do this with one of the regular tracks. Go to tracks, click on the latest episode here. Again, share and go to embed. And you get a few options here. Playlists had two options. Single tracks have three options. So they have this one here we saw earlier. It's the artwork with the overlay of the audio on top. One we're using last for a playlist. And then this one here is kind of minimal, which is kind of nice. So if you have very minimal site, this might be a good option for you. Go to copy this code in our website here. Text, delete this out. Copy our new code back in there. This is a nice little feature too. Click on preview. So if you have a lot of text and just want to embed a track with not much around it, no artwork, you can do that right here. And there you go. Play button has a title, the podcast, the name, and the link to SoundCloud as well. So very, very simple to do and easy. So there you go, a really simple way to be able to embed playlists or single tracks directly into your WordPress website, whether they're yours or others. So if you use WordPress, you want to be able to embed your own podcasts or audio tracks directly into your website. These are really good and easy options. I do like SoundCloud, how you can kind of choose the way it looks, but the plugin makes everything more simple too. So it depends what route you want to go. If you don't mind uh, the basic layout with the plugin, uh, that's a really good option. You're just pasting the URL into your WordPress site then every time to embed, or you can go to SoundCloud and choose embed and then make more of a customization for yourself. But let me know in the comments below what you think and thanks for watching i'm eddie ray for the tech eddie show we'll see you back here next time